Hey, Joe Smith here again, uh, talking to you and going to play some examples from my latest groove column called The Train Beat in Drum Magazine. And uh, so this month we're looking at this groove called The Train Beat, which is really a collection of grooves um, based on the concept of playing both hands on the snare drum. So what we're doing here is we're going to ride on the snare drum with one hand as if we were playing on a ride cymbal or a hi-hat. <laughs> And then still playing the back beats also on the snare. So we're going to put that together. So there's three basic ways to look at this groove. And they all give it a different feel. Example one is what I call a straight ride train beat. Where the right hand plays every eighth note. And this in fact turns when you're playing the back beats with your left into like left flams. So it sounds like this. One, two, three. A one, two, three, four. Okay? Number two is what I call a broken ride train beat. The right hand breaks up those straight eights, letting the left hand alone play the back beats. And that sounds like this. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Number three, example three, is what I term a hand-to-hand -hand train beat, where both hands play a role in creating the ride part. And it sounds like this. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Now, the important thing through all of these is to make sure that you accent the back beat and keep the volume of it distinct from the, the ride snare drum notes. So you've got really two levels, the softer level and the louder level. And keeping those apart is really important. So you can vary these basic beats in several ways to generate other grooves. Uh, you can try swinging the eights to, per, uh, to, to make a shuffling groove out of it. One, two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Another thing you can do is incorporate toms in various ways into the groove. And I'll play an example five, an example of doing this. Here we go. One, two, a one, two, three, four. All right. Finally, uh, because these grooves are played at fast tempos, I think about adding variations or fills every two or four bars to create longer phrases. So uh, take a look at this. This is example six. One, two, a one, two, three, four. All right. And lastly, you can try doubling either the right or the left hand in spots to thicken up the groove. So uh, in example seven, what I'm going to do is double a left, and it sounds like this. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. All right. And in the last example, example eight, I'm going to double the right in a spot, and it, it also will Thicken up the groove. One, a two, a one, two, three, four. And there you have it, the train beat, some examples, some variations. Take it, put it in your groove arsenal, and uh, make it your own, and I'll see you next time.